Well, my gas has never been so flabbered. Level Earth Observer is criticizing footage that's been released by the Chinese Space Agency, which of course he believes shows a fake view of Earth from the space station. And once again, he finds the footage to be scientifically impossible and thinks that the accompanying piano music is meant to evoke emotions in order to distract from the fact that the footage is fake. Brilliant, Leo. So are you now saying that the earth is flat because music? Please subscribe. Oops. It would seem China's space station yet again is serving up this globe earth theory with its so-called space station. Right, first of all, what's with the so-called in every video you publish? You do realise that saying so-called does not make something fake, don't you? And if by serving up you mean showing us images of Earth from the space station, then yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Because normal people think this sort of thing is absolutely amazing to see. Again, obvious fakery. Obvious? Really? Well, the only thing that's obvious, Leo, is that you do not have a clue about any of the topics you discuss on your channel. Now, just for clarity, because I know you watch every video I upload about you, and it's always nice to talk to a fan. <laughs> but are you one of those flat earth experts that think space is fake? Like CC from West... <laughs> Chester County. Or do you just think that we haven't been there and aren't there now? You would have thought off the back of us exposing this, me highlighting this and many others, months ago, they would have got their act together. Exposing? Yeah, good one. You couldn't expose yourself if you lived in a nudist colony. Now, you bang on and on about fake this and pantomime that. But the one thing I have never seen you do in any of the videos I've reacted to is provide any sort of evidence to support your position. Saying the word fake over and over again doesn't make something fake, pal. But they're still pumping out garbage like this. Uh, why is it garbage? Because you and other flat earth clowns don't like the fact that we can show that the earth is indeed a spherical object. Which interestingly enough is what every single scientific observation demonstrates. How many observations the flat earth has made? And when I say observations I mean observations that don't just end up showing us what we already know for a fact. Interesting. That the earth is not now, nor has it ever been, and nor will it ever be flat of misshapen balls, morphing and bending. Oh, that's a bit uncalled for. Yeah, I'm an older guy and my balls aren't what they used to be. But at the end of the day, well, it, it, he doesn't mean me, does he? I, I think he's talking about Earth again. <laughs> Which technically is misshapen. That's why it's an oblate spheroid and not just a sphere, Leo. How obvious do these people need to make it? Make what? The shape of the Earth? I don't get why you're asking. Yeah, in the footage you're showing, it's pretty obvious to anyone with eyes that the Earth is a globe. Ah, right, I get it now. You obviously meant fake in your eyes. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted today. Carry on. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry about the morphing and the bending of the Earth. It's a wonderful bit of piano, just ignore that. Now, Earth's shape can look odd when viewed from space due to the effects of camera lenses and atmospheric distortions, but the one thing it can't look, and never does, is flat! And I know that's because it isn't, but it doesn't stop flat Earthers freaking out and going, aha, every time they see something that looks ever so slightly off. And I've said this more times than Leo said the word pantomime. If you are all so convinced that the Earth is flat, all you've got to do to shut us stupid globies up once and for all is crowdfund a flight on the Blue Origin rocket. Take a camera up with you and take your own photographs that will show us all once and for all that the Earth is actually flat. I'll chuck in a bag of sand myself. A grand. A thousand pound dollars, whatever. They're not gonna go. Always sold with a bit of piano. Let's, let's play on the feelings there. Eh? Come on, you wanna believe in this absurdity? Ask yourself this, Leo. Who is more absurd? 
The people who accept that the Earth is what it is, a globe, or you. And what I mean by you is you and your catchphrases. It's the monstrable. It's the pantomime. Flat Earth can be observed by all. Oh yeah, and a quick side note, your name, Level Earth Observer, points out perfectly just how limited your knowledge is. Because flat and level are not the same thing, are they, you dick? So if you wouldn't mind being a good lad and running along and changing your YouTube handle to Flat Earth Observer, at least that would make sense. Well, well no, it wouldn't make sense. You know exactly what I mean, just shut up. What I mean is level doesn't mean flat, you clown. Get it right. You're even gonna defend this misshapen, out of shape globe. Come on, you know you want to. The piano says you do. Now, I'm not gonna lie, but it takes a lot to shock me, but I cannot believe that you were so obsessed with the backing track they've used. Now, I've changed it to the most similar thing I could find that won't get my video claimed. But sadly, Leo, somber piano music does not make the earth flat. I mean, what the? So-and-so is going on here. Well, it's called watching footage of the Chinese space station showing a feed of Earth from space. If you can't even fathom what you're watching when you were the one that chose the video, then I'm afraid you may be beyond saving. Now, you've always come across as a complete spanner to me. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But that takes the cake. Unless, as I suspect, you mean something else. No amount of piano is going to make that a reality for anyone. Even the Globies. This is supposed to be their world, sold by the superpower that is China. Well, technically speaking, it's everybody's Earth, even flat Earthers. And don't you think China's been blamed for enough? It's not their fault you don't like the real shape of the planet. And yet China are serving this globe up for breakfast and mocking anyone that believes in space or them. Oh, brilliant. So you do think space is fake. Okay, Leo, this is directed straight to you, whereas the rest of this video isn't really for you. It's for the people who watch me that enjoy laughing at you. But Leo, old buddy, old pal, if space is fake, and let's just say for comedy value that the Earth was flat, if space is fake, where the bloody hell are we then? I mean, we've got to be somewhere, regardless of the shape of the Earth. And what did you mean, who believes in space or them? Are you implying that China, and by extension, Chinese people are also fake? Or is it my misunderstanding? Although in my defense, I don't speak more on, so... Special Officer Doofy reporting. I mean, look at the earth there. Like I say, no amount of piano's gonna sway me here, lads. Look, I can actually see what you're saying. The shape does look a little off in a few frames. But don't you think it's a bit strange that in this video and all the other videos you critique of Earth from space, we've never once even come close to revealing that the Earth is a flat disk float. What am I talking about? Well, I was going to say through space, but obviously space is fake. I tell you what, pal, you want to reach out to CC. One of your peers because he too is dumb enough to upload videos onto a public website claiming that space is fake as well. I bet the astrophysicists will be gutted when they find out. In fact, let's just pause it there a minute. Let's have a look at some of the comments. Let's, let's see what people are actually saying about this tosh. Oh yes, excellent idea. I quite often go into the comments section under videos I react to as well. Take your comment section for example. It's a mix of people who are equally as stupid, all sucking you off and each other, and then people like me, laughing at you and calling you an idiot. Let's see what's there then. <laughs> and check the first comment out. Nameless warrior. Beautiful Mother Earth, we as her children must cherish and protect her. If Mother Earth hurts, then we suffer as well. Nameless Warrior's right. I'm not sure I would have said it that way because it did sound a bit knobby, but I agree with the message. We are messing up Earth. But please, feel free to continue with your in-depth analysis. Well, Nameless Warrior, you must be seriously suffering right now, having seen that pantomime of your Mother Globe Earth bending and morphing and turning into... Who knows what there? I'm afraid to tell you, nameless warrior, that your beautiful Mother Earth isn't a bull. Sorry. Oh, well said, Leo. No, not really. I have never heard somebody with so much to say have so little worth listening to. If I was to sit here and say the sky isn't blue, 
Would that make any difference to the sky being blue? And before any of you smart asses correct me, I know the sky only appears to be blue and that it actually isn't, but I'm just proving a point. Saying something is fake does not make it fake. Not another that tosh for me. No amount of piano is going to soften me up enough to accept this scientifically impossible nonsense as somehow reality. Especially when they're showing their own pantomime world bending and warping. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm convinced. I mean, he just said the magic words, didn't he? It's a pantomime. The Earth looks like it's sort of returning back to its spherical shape there. Something for the globe believers to cling on. Anything else? Exactly, Leo. Returning back to its spherical shape, not its flat shape. Back to bending and warping and deforming. This. Probably, what's that? I'm trying to gauge it from a distance. More like an egg earth now. And let's not forget before I go, what these clowns served up only a couple of months ago. Got no, pa no piano to accompany this, which is absolutely devastating to the space industry and of course the globe. And of course, flat earthers. Because whilst I agree that the footage from space has its faults, it's never been faulty enough to show us a flat Earth, has it? China totally melting, deforming, and destroying, and ultimately flattening the globe Earth theory, which of course we all know is scientifically impossible. Improve it, you moron! So let's keep the theme going and take a look at the comments under Leo's video, shall we? Ooh, Letty says, can you please say Tosh at least once per video? Thank you for truth then. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to agree with this one. I wish he would only say it once per video instead of 50 times. That would be nice. And David says, China needs to hire Hollywood like NASA does. Well, Dave, if that was the case, why is it that according to you and other flat earth bozos, the footage is always so terrible? I would have thought that... Hang on, what, what am I talking about? Sorry, I got caught up in the moment then. Hollywood is a district in the city of Los Angeles, not the head of the fake shape Earth Department of NASA. And MI, oh, what name's too difficult to spell, asks, where are the stars? You don't know a lot about photography or videography, do you? Stars can appear faint and difficult to see in footage from space because of the high contrast between the stars and their dark backgrounds. And in addition, the camera is often so sensitive that it picks up other sources of light, like cosmic rays, which makes stars appear even fainter. But I would imagine you already knew that and just forgot to type it out. And John Bailey Curvebuster says, I actually don't care. No, I, he didn't say that. I said that. I just wanted the people to do this. C G. And here Kitty Kitty thinks they aren't even trying. If only that was the case with people like you, Kitty. Because if there is one thing flat earthers do do, <laughs> is try people's patience. And of course, the genius that is Shelby 33. Ooh, 33. Illuminati confirmed. But Shelby must be from a different lodge because I don't know the name. But to be honest, I just wanted to use my CGI clip again. C G I. So there we go, sad piano music proves the earth is flat. I know I'm convinced, how about you? And sadly, or not if you don't like me, although if you don't like me and you got this far into the video, then maybe you secretly do like me. But anyway, sadly, that's it, until the 20th of February. Because in about seven hours time, I board my flight to the good old US of A. If you do need a creaky fix while I'm away on holiday, damn, I need to practice. If you do need a creaky fix while I'm on vacation, hmm, won't be doing that again, then don't forget, I've got over 400 videos on my channel, all like this. Well, not, not exactly the same, they're not, you know, there's loads of stuff there. And I bet you haven't seen them all, so get on with it. There will be an exam when I get back. Thank you all once again for your continued support, and talking about support, there are a few different ways you can do it, which are all listed underneath this video in the description. I, well, I have to go now. Love you, bye. No, love you, bye. No, you go first. Love you, bye. No, you go. No, you. Fine. Take care. Stay safe. And I will see you all very soon. Doodles. All right, all right. What's this next? But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blinder.